to this next video on BYOB, we're going to be having a look at variables today. Now you might not be sure what a variable is, but by the time you've watched, finished watching this video, you should have a pretty good idea. I've set up this simple script in BYOB. See the other videos on BYOB if you're not sure what this is. I have two sprites. I have a hero sprite, you can see him here, and a dragon sprite. And at the moment, I've set up the dragon so that when the green flag is clicked, forever, he checks if he's touching the hero. If he does, he switches to a different costume. If he's not, he switches back again. Very, very simple. On the hero, I have another script, very similar, that if he touches the dragon, he says ouch for two seconds. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it using the green flag and these loops are running both on the dragon and on the hero. And what you'll see is when I drag my dragon over here, he changes to his different costume and our little hero says ouch. Now that's all fun, I'll stop that. But it's no basis for a game because nothing's actually changing. There aren't any consequences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a variable so that we can record the health of our hero. If I go to the variables box here, it shows me all of the different things I can do with variables. We're going to have a look at the very basics in this video. If I click on make a variable, I can make a variable called health. Okay. And we can see that the health appears up here. So a variable is just a place to store something, to store a value, to store a word, to store a list, whatever you like but it just stores something. It appears here on the screen and if I double click it you'll see it changes so that we get this sort of slider interface. When I double click it again it just appears as a box like that. I'm going to click it back to this view so we know that it's a health variable. So at the moment the value of health is zero and we can do a few things with these variables. First of all, we can use this to set the variable. So set health to, so if I want to set health to five, I can type five in here, and I'm going to run just this block, and you can see five appears up here. Or we can change it by a value. So here, I've said change health by one, and when I run that, you can see health goes from five to six, and then again, six to seven. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here so that when the green flag is, flag is clicked we're going to get three health points. So when I run this it will set the health value to three. Let's check that. Good. We've now got a health of three. Now when the dragon touches our little hero here, we don't want him to gain health, we want to lose health. So I'm going to put in minus one in this box and I'm going to put that in here. So just before he says ouch, it's going to take a point of his health. I now click the green flag and what we'll see is he loses a point of his health each time. There is a slight problem with this. It's a bit of a simple approach. If I leave him there, you'll see that health keeps on going down. We can do things about that, but that is for another time. The last thing we probably want to do is to check to see whether health is less than a certain value so that we can do something. So if I go up to control and say if, and then I'm going to go into operators and I'm going to say less than and variables health. I can say if health is less than one, then do something. So if we wanted to, I could put this in here 
and I can say if health is less than one, so if our little hero has lost all his health, then we want to do something different. I'm going to say, ah, uh, I'm dead, like this, for two seconds, and then I'm going to, I think, actually say, game over, and then I'm going to come up to control, and I'm going to stop all scripts, like this, so that will mean that the game is over. So now, he'll go through checking, if he touches the dragon, he'll say ouch for two seconds, and if his health is under one, he'll say ah, I'm dead. So let's go, green flag, and you'll see health is three, ouch, ouch, oh, and ah, I'm dead. So now we've got a finished game, because we can lose our lives. Obviously we want to add other things to the game, but this is the very basics.